So, welcome back. So I was talking with Caleb about cleaning catalytic converters a little further. Um, and I, years ago, I did a video putting acetone and some other stuff through a converter, and I had it in a clear container. And obviously, the converters that I changed uh, really didn't show anything coming off of them. So I figured uh, that's a bust. You know, I heard people use Cataclean. I don't believe in that shit. Um, but I said to Kayla, I said, your, your Cataclean is like your e-cigarette uh, filament. If the coil burns uh, too cool, it will foul out. And if it burns too hot, it'll burn out. Your catalytic converter works the same way. Uh, too much of one thing causes a reaction. Not enough of another or too much of you know, the combination all the way around cause an efficiency code then it starts melting down then it starts plugging um, but if you have to clean it um, there's a reason why you have to clean it because there's something wrong so I wouldn't waste your time you need to figure out what's wrong with the engine first before you continue to clean it unless you're just OCD and you want to make sure you have a clean catalytic converter for no reason um, but I would be careful what chemicals you use in there too because uh, it's precious metals uh, and you could deteriorate constant cleaning of a converter could deteriorate the, the stuff as well um, and and I would say there's very little to, to no proof that cleaning a catalytic converter does anything for you for you other than you've accomplished something in my opinion um, you really need to cut the converter off inspect it make sure that it's not cracked it's not plugged and that's through that whole subtrace so if you use a boroscope and just look at the top you're not seeing through six or eight or ten inches of brick. Not happening. Um, so even if you cut it off and you hold it up to a light and you look through it, you'll see plugging or deposits or some other things in there. But there's probably people out there who are cleaning catalytic converters that don't have anything. There's no substrate in there. You're cleaning pipes and oxygen sensors. Uh, and if there's gaps or holes in the catalyst brick, you're wasting your time. So my opinion is don't waste your time. But, I mean, you can. It's up to you.